who's the boss? In the church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for December the 18th, 2020, according to St. Mark. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they, they had argued with one another who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be the last of all and servant of all. Then he took a ch the little child and put him among them, and take it, taking him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever becomes, whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against, is against us is for us. For truly I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ, it by no means he will, will, not, will by no means lose his reward. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. So who is the boss? Ever since the time of the apostles, with Christ, people were arguing, they were arguing against themselves. I am the boss, I am the boss, I am the boss. And if Christ had not set straight the record, there would have been probably 11 churches from the beginning. St. Paul, I mean 11 because 11 were, were the apostles. And from there, thousands and thousands as it is now, as they have sprung from the one heretic that ran away that was original. They want to do that. But Christ cleared it for everyone. There is no chief among you. All of you are equals. And if any one of you wants to become the first, then let him be the last and be the servant of all. So that he loses everything. For greed and pride precisely goes against God. Which, see clearly where you are at. And they, with the Orthodox Church, we remain in that very way. In that very way. As God commanded us to remain. Who is the boss in the church? All the, the Holy Synod. The Synod of, of the bishops is the boss. It's not the patriarch. Contrary to what they think in Rome, that they has allowed their Pope to say that he is the supreme guy. In Orthodoxy, that doesn't happen. It is the Holy Synod of the church, the true and only body of governance because the only head that we have in the church is Christ as is written by St. Paul think about it you want to be saved by Christ or do you want to just pertain to some perfect society that say themselves proclaim themselves to be of God in the other hand I also would like to give thanks to God for everyone that invokes the name of Christ I pray for all of them that God would enlighten them to become fully to faithfulness to Christ in the only church that remains and that was set up since the beginning by Him, the Orthodox Church. Finally, I thank God for all the people that so far has invited me to over to their homes to have a drink of water, to drink some coffee or even to have meals. Because as it was written today, they will receive the reward. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.